Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and my guest this week, Peter Mandelson, Secretary of State for Business, Enterprise and Regulatory Reform. In fact, if I may put it more simply in Indian terms, the exact counterpart of Kamal Nath in UK cabinet, isn't it? I'll take that as a compliment. And Peter Mandelson, <laughs> a friend of India and a frequent visitor. I am uh, a friend of India, uh, quite a passionate one, and I now have, through all my visits here, you know, a lot of friends uh, who I value. Um, you know, it goes back, of course, to my grandfather. Yes. My grandfather, who was Deputy Prime Minister in the post-war Labour government under Clement Attlee, was also a great friend of the uh, first High Commissioner of India, Krishna Menon. And I have a photograph on Independence Day for India. He must have had very special skills, because I don't think Krishna Menon made friends easily. No, but then that's what some people said about my grandfather as well. So they weren't really right about that. But I have a wonderful photograph of uh, the new flag being uh -huh. uh, put up above uh, India House in the Aldwych by my grandfather, uh -huh. representing the British government, and Krishna Menon, representing India. Well, so, so we go back. <laughs> there you go back. And now, from Krishna Menon to Kamal Nath, it's a... <laughs> we've come a long way. Because <laughs> yeah. Kamal Nath is somebody who makes friends easily. He does make friends easily. I mean, he's a... Yeah, he's a, a clever, yeah. charming, um, difficult uh, guy when you're negotiating with him. Um, he's very dogged. He has a particular view. And it's difficult to get him to move off that ground. But, you know, there we are. He, he represents the interests as he sees it, uh, of his country, in our case, in the trade negotiations of his, uh, of his farmers. Um, but, you know, however much the two of you may have sparred, I know that he also respects you a great deal. Yes. I mean, there wasn't so much that separated us, except at the end, when I really thought that we could and should have done this deal. Uh, I saw his point of view and India's point of view on agriculture to a great extent. Um, and I took a view which was in the World Trade Talks, which was that we in the developed world uh, are, are not entitled to ask for the same back as we were giving, and that actually what we were giving meant we had to be rather more modest in, in, in our demands, but that secondly, you know, there's a lot at stake in, in the world trade system. Uh, and for the sake of the system, we needed to do a deal over the, you know, over, over the liberalization and the, right. uh, over the tariffs and the other things. The system was very important. And I think that with the global economic downturn now, and the huge problems that we're facing in the global economy, we need to, we need that deal as we need other deals in order to keep the global economy open, open for business, trade flowing, because that's where prosperity comes from. And I suppose because you got to know each other so well, sparring at that level, that you were able to negotiate that India-EU uh, trade deal so well. Well, both of us were keen uh, to say, look... Not, um, not called an FTA, but an FTA. Well, yeah, by, another, by any other yeah. name. I mean, both of us felt that... Um, you know, the global deal was the biggest thing that we could achieve, although we had different views as to right, the terms right. on which we should uh, do that deal. Uh, but that wasn't incompatible with taking openness and, uh, and trade liberalizations further between Europe uh, and India. Uh, and that, if anything, the ambition that we uh, sought on the bilateral would then in time feed into uh, the multilateral. Peter, you are a also sort of the comeback kid twice over in yes. UK politics. This comeback in particular, your, your previous comeback and uh, all the controversies we all know about. Uh, but this comeback uh, in the month of October, uh, in deep crisis, Gordon Brown brought you back. Uh, first of all, what was the Mendelssohnian thing you did that Gordon Brown brought you back? Because in your party politics, you were positioned sort of uh, on the other side. And second, uh, how do you look at what's been done to fix the crisis since then? Well, don't, don't, I'm, I've never been on the other side of the pro, in the party from him in policy terms, in ideological terms. In, in party politics terms. Well, in it's, terms of 
Blair versus Gordon Brown at one point. Okay, but that's personal. That's, that's personal. personalities. Yes, yes. Um, and we that, call it party politics. Yeah, I call it personality. Yes. Uh, within a party. Within a party, yes. Um, and you know those personalities can be more divisive within a party Absolutely. than policies can between parties sometimes. 